Good day. So for learning task 2, we're going to solve the purity of alum problem in problem set 3. Now problem set 3 is concerned with basic gravimetry. So without further ado, let's begin. So the question is, after preparing a sample of alum, which in this case is potassium alum, a student determined its purity gravimetrically. A 1.2931 gram sample was dissolved and the aluminum precipitated as aluminum hydroxide. The precipitate was collected by filtration, washed, and ignited into aluminum oxide, yielding 0 0.1357 grams. What is the purity of the alum preparation? So what you want to do to better visualize the process that has transpired in this problem is that you might want to create a diagram. Now here, here I have a sample diagram. Now, as you can see in the initial, you have here 1.2931 grams of alum. Now this initial amount of 1.2931 grams of alum, it was dissolved and precipitated into aluminum hydroxide. Now that aluminum hydroxide was further filtered, washed and ignited into aluminum oxide and it yielded 0 0.1357 grams of aluminum oxide. So how will we solve this problem? Now the problem basically calls for the percent of alum that was yielded. The purity of the alum is in question. So the way that you're going to solve that is by this equation you're going to solve for the gram of alum from the yielded aluminum oxide and divide it by the initial amount which is 1.2931 grams of alum and multiply it by 100. Now, um, from aluminum oxide into alum, there seems to be no specific reaction that happens uh, that can determine how aluminum oxide uh, turned into alum. So what you want to do is find a component or an element that would tie them together. In this case, I found that it's aluminum. So what we're going to do is uh, from the aluminum oxide, you're going to convert it into aluminum and then you're going to further convert that aluminum into the alum. Now why aluminum? Because aluminum is one thing that binds them together. It's present in aluminum oxide and it's present in uh, the alum. Uh, why not oxygen? It's complicated. It's very complicated. And if you uh, look at uh, the formula of aluminum oxide and alum, it's uh, just uh, simpler if you would tackle it by solve by using alum as a component that ties them together so from aluminum oxide we're going to convert the grams yielded into aluminum so you have here your 0 0.1357 grams of aluminum oxide and you multiply that by the molecular weight to cancel out the gram aluminum oxide now then you multiply that by the stoichiometric coefficient of aluminum and aluminum oxide. Now, there are two moles of aluminum, two moles of aluminum over per one mole of aluminum oxide. Why is that so? Um, look at the formula of aluminum oxide. It's Al2O3. Therefore, there are two aluminum atoms there. Therefore, there are two moles of aluminum and aluminum oxide. Now, solving for that, you're going to come up with the answer of 2.662 times 10 to the negative 3 moles or 0.002662 moles of aluminum. Now we have their moles of aluminum. From there, you're going to convert that into the alum. So you have here your 0.002662 moles of aluminum aluminum and could uh, multiply it by the stoichiometric ratio of alum and aluminum now there are 
Uh, there is one mole of alum per two moles of aluminum. Why two moles of aluminum? Again, look at the formula. How many aluminums are there in the alum, in the formula for alum? Two. So, therefore, per one mole of alum, there are two moles of aluminum. Now that you have your mole of alum, you multiply that by its molecular weight. In this case, it's 948.78 grams of alum. Now, solving for that gives us 1.263 grams of alum. Now, this is the amount of alum that uh, has been yielded after the gravimetric analysis. So, this is the uh, amount of alum in the end product. Now, to determine the uh, purity of alum in the problem, we're going to divide 1.263 grams of alum over the initial amount of 1.2931 grams and multiply that by 100. So 1.263 divided by 1.2931 gives us 0 0.9767. Multiplying by 100 gives us 97.67% purity of alum. So this is the percent, uh, the purity of the alum and the problem, 97.67%. Now there is an alternative solution to this problem. However, my alternative solution just uh, calls for the complete uh, conversion from aluminum oxide to alum so it's it's more complete it's a lot less messier because it uh, only concerns itself with uh, a single equation you have here your aluminum oxide and then you have here at your endpoint um, alum but what I did is that I cut it into manageable pieces so that uh, it would be much better so that uh, you could see the uh, the details that details yes that has transpired into solving this problem however it's still the same it gives us the same answer 0 0.9767 multiply that by a hundred which gives us 97.67 percent of alum so therefore that is how you solve the purity of alum problem in problem set 3. Thank you.